fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and does it by example. And what you've done here today, that's gonna keep us going for a while. Clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run. But I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The Courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the Wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland, while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed, settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle at Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. After generations of being beaten down, the great cons were finally broken by the Courier. Those few who avoided the Courier's wrath moved north into the wilderness of Idaho, where they tried once more to rebuild. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. Having never received a replacement brain, Rex finally succumbed to old age, abruptly shutting down forever one quiet morning. After two centuries of life and decades of service to humanity, Rex collapses and dies. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. 
In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.